Well, hey guys, it's Cricky and Donna from Pennsylvania Mountain Homestead here on this beautiful, hot, lustrous, sunny day. <laughs> here in upstate northern Pennsylvania, 25 minutes outside of New York State. Anyway, this is just a quick look at old Red there. She's got to get a little linkage hooked up there. She's all wired. The deck's hung. I got to put the finish up some stuff here. But, uh, She's looking good. We got the stack, uh, that, that going good there. And uh, a nice spring-loaded seed for my tush. Anyway, a quick look at that. Things going on, but what we got new going on over here is this 400-watt Renogy solar power system here. Uh, this is gonna be demoed out here on the property. Uh, they are 100 watts per panel got her up on four by fours on the high side of each row and two by fours just to keep them up so the air breathes under there and of course they're wired up under the camp we'll go around and take a look at this real quick it's just pretty though isn't it you can see how they are it's pretty now i'm going to build a stand here so that i can clock them so i'm going to cement some posts in uh, with a bar and a whole frame so I can clock it for morning sun, midday sun, and, and evening sun over yonder there. But uh, it supplies just quite a bit of power to the property. And uh, there's a little diesel. Uh, there's the fusing for it, uh, and we, along with aligned with uh, three deep cycle batteries. I'd like to put, uh, to start with anyway, three more alongside of these to give us more storage is everything guys in solar power i will just say that quickly uh, we're not going crazy on it um, if it's not sunny out what do you do for power uh, the more power you can store away the more you have for a rainy day is if you can store that uh, it's really really pretty cool so uh, we came up under the camp here and we came up inside behind the bed uh, and I have the charge controller there inside and I can just roll over and actually see what the power is doing Okay guys, so right behind my bed right right behind my pillow right here actually, you know uh, In the corner here by the the backrest of the couch there you see the backrest of the couch coming down the window I just have tucked in our charge controller. So uh, it's the Rover series, a 40 amp MPPT charge controller, which is maximum maximum PowerPoint uh, tracking. Uh, and so the battery, <laughs> look what I have here. I have a bezel trying to interfere with my movie production. Fred, Fred needs attention, guys. Fred, you're gonna lay right in the way, aren't you? Look, see, he's just gonna, he's just gonna lay right in the way for a chance. All right, get out of my mouth. <laughs> Fred Beasel, scoot, scoot. There he goes. Anyway, so these are floating right now. So we have, this is sort of a little cute picture of uh, the solar panel and it shows it, the computer shows it sending electric into the battery. Uh, and the light bulb is like the load side, but we're not running anything on it right now. So there's no no load trickling now. Um, and it's a 12 volt system uh, and our battery type. So it's floating now. You can see it says float uh, right here. And that's because it's just hovering the batteries uh, at 13.7 volts. And so it's just way cool. You know, this thing is uh, it, you know, it shows you uh, the volts coming in from the panel right now. There's 21.5 uh, or 6 volts coming in. Uh, the amps coming in at present, uh, you know, 100% charge, the battery pack right now. See it? The battery's 100% up. Uh, we're, we have it set for 13.7 volts. I may go a little higher. There's no load out right now. Uh, and this is our amp hours, 16 amp hours at present with the sun, direct sun right now. Uh, and, and a loadout is, you know, trivial. Uh, and so the temperature of the battery, you know, which is awesome. Uh, and that's like a fall. And this is error codes. There are no errors, errors and zero. So back to the main screen. Uh, I'm learning this thing as I go along, guys. When you see this top light flashing, 
that is because it is in float mode and it just keeps a trickle on those batteries and they love this thing. They really love this thing, those batteries outside. This thing just keeps them nice and full and hot. Not boiling, not simmering, it knows. That's why it's called MPPT, it's Maximum PowerPoint Tracking. Uh, it's a technology within the system in this uh, Rover series and, and all of charge controllers that are, are uh, with the acronym MPPT uh, because the PowerPoint Tracking uh, feels the battery out so to speak it says man you really used a lot you need a lot let's dump everything these things have into you and get you full and charged up right uh but when they're full and they're idling now what stops that heavy load from making the batteries boil over and get hot and all that this unit here the charge controller it slows it way down and it goes into the float mode and just keeps them topped off and warm and happy. And as you use them, the cool thing is, is when I turn on every light in this camper, every single room I've experimented already, uh, it doesn't, they run off strictly off the solar panels themselves. So it doesn't even touch the batteries or so much power coming in. So it's just, it's, it's, it's cool. Thanks a lot for watching us here at Pennsylvania Mountain Homestead. Uh, please smash that like button, hit subscribe, follow us along on the journey. Uh, we are going to be putting the septic in first uh, and then the cement in and the cabin up uh, because the county wants us to do it in that order. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so you will see in the upcoming vids uh, AS ASAP uh, some uh, a video of a digger over here digging the septic in the leach field and such and getting the tanks and such so we'll we'll uh, we'll bring you up to date on that when that happens i'm just giving you a quick heads up uh but as we're waiting for these things because of uh people being busy and demands and such it's it's pretty pretty crazy uh, actually we're getting it done though guys like it's going to be quick when it happens because we're lining it up but uh this is this is fun here like this is like the hobby shop here so uh this makes it nice to live in and it keeps this camp very comfortable and it makes it a a safe secure haven for us uh, as we're, we're waiting and traveling along here i'm getting it warmer and warmer uh for the winter and cooler and cooler for the summer uh we have nice uh, power here now it makes things a lot easier you don't have to run a generator to charge the batteries they do it free now from the sun Anyhow, uh, these uh, solar power is not going to be, uh, you know, running the country because, uh, you know, you can't make car tires and steel and stuff. You need petroleum based stuff to do all the, the high temperature heating. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be a, a nit no, but you, you really can't uh, you can't fool people that know uh, what it takes to, uh, you know, to, to make things these days and to manufacture, uh, you know, I, I love the idea of, uh, of keeping fresh air and fresh water, but guys, we need a little bit of petroleum. We need to drill uh, and, uh, and free the, the, the country up because if we do not, uh, you're certainly not gonna make car tires with this system I have in here. I could power some lights and a TV and a refrigerator uh, and live happy ho-ho and have a, a nice heater and have everything a house has, uh, but people don't realize when you manufacture in the country, uh, it requires extreme, extreme, extreme power to get things, metals hot and things hot and things built. And if we don't build, we fall apart. Uh -huh. Peace, love, and happiness. With that said, we'll see you next time. Cricky out.